five, four, three, two. Okay, everyone. Meet Nabe, the Eldritch Knight Dwarf. It likes to wear glasses, has high intelligence, is a summoner slash healer, and uh, has Lone Wolf, which doubles max AP and or doubles my, my stats that I put into it, is a jester and an outlaw, and like me, is a classy woman, and likes to listen to the cello. Welcome, no Fiji. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I, um, I really like this game, and I spent four hours earlier trying to download and get Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach to work. It didn't. This was one of the few games I had left that I didn't have to re-download, because that thing took 150 gigabytes. So anyway, we're gonna play this instead, and I'm gonna have fun, and I hope you do too. Yes. Also, it is modded. These skills that I have, some of them are not actually what they're supposed to be. I don't, as far as I'm aware, there's not summoning bows and whatnot in the main game. Or if there is, I haven't found it, but this, I, I, I did a couple mods uh, for this class. A thing called True Companions. I can make my companions, um, like, I don't have to control them. I can, I can give them a purpose and tell them what to do. Alright. Ooh, apples. Juggles. And the Magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. I'd come here to be Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. But instead, she became part of my story. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin Definitive Edition 2. So, still a bit groggy, are we? Yes. Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Okay. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. All right. There's my dwarf. So I can't do my main summoning thing yet. I need more points into my my spell slots here. Um, but I can oh, summon my healing totem, which looks like this. And within that area, I heal. Not that I need to, but I can. And then I'm gonna conjure my bow. Just so that way I have I have the possibility. Like I'm gonna hit this bucket. Well bam. See? And that breaks and goes away. Okay, so the main gimmick of this is it's like a top-down exploratory RPG, right? And I'm playing a dwarf. I should have called her the red fox, but I like Nabe. Shabam. Yeah, I thank you. I have played about 200 hours of this game. I think I know how to play so far. And let's talk to the sheep. An animal sty, shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. Ouch. Fresh meat. <laughs> nice. Clump. Banded like a chicken's leg, too. See how you are. Poke the sheep's ample belly with your toe. Remark that she's got more meat on her than you do. Sniff and tell the sheep you don't pre uh, appreciate being likened to a farm animal. Jester. Say that you're glad she likes to joke around. Has she heard the one about a dancing sheep? The ballerina, I bet. <laughs> Jesus, these puns are... I bet you that's what it is. In fact, that's probably what it is. I think I remember that vaguely. Um, Wink and say her fleece would catch a better price on the black market than your flesh, or you don't intend to take sass like this from a sheep. Take your leave instead. I'm gonna do the black market. That may be so, but look at the flies. Burn wisdom. Flies know when a creature will die. And it's around your head they're buzzing, not mine. Fine then. With two shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to peruse her hay-filled manger. Rude. You know what? I'm gonna make you lamb chops. I hit the wall. I'm still gonna make you lamb chops. Oh no. Uh, I am flanked. So first things first, I'm gonna set this there. Then, I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna hit this thing. Twice. Nope, I missed. 
What does the hold on? What does the erratic wisp do? Erratic energy gives 20% vitality, maximum armor when not. Uh, it spawns a random erratic entity at a random player location. Erratic entity explodes after two turns. Okay, so I just gotta keep trying to hit the sheep. Uh, I'll just save the last of my maximum AP. Oof. Ouch. And shabam. That thing disappears. And there's the cello. And I'll be full healed before that thing breaks. Give me some button. And I'm gonna explore these. Sweet, fully healed. Ooh, lockpicks. So you open a locked object, use your lockpick on it. No, you think? In this face, cargo door key. Ooh, uh, I'll take an apple, I'll take an apple pie. I'll take a ham, I'll take a bread. I'm gonna open up this barrel. And now, I head through to this area. Okay, so maybe I can come over here. And then come over here. Nope, I still got slowed. Found an electric discharge scroll. Try it on a puddle of water or a steam cloud. I'm gonna save it for later. <laughs> I go all the way around. That's probably a good idea. That's actually probably a really, really good idea. Oh, I'm gonna grab this rope. You never know when you need rope. You guys do have rope, right? Adventurers of your level. I have a hat, a monocle, sun rods. And finally, nope, not quite far enough. I'm gonna hit this dude with it. Right... There. I should have known there'd be trouble. I should have known there'd be trouble. Oh, I should have immune to air damage. Uh, um. Hmm. I know what to do. And these are. Oh, I need to sort my stuff. But bombs or grenades and traps. I'm gonna put that right there. And I'm gonna toss that about there. Have fun. <laughs> I'm not one to let sleeping dogs lie. Well, I'll wait till the fire dies. Looks like it's passed. That chair, that chair is still burning. Okay, what does the Rennert have? A laboratory key. Look at Hemwarsta. He didn't have it either. All right, what's in here? Why did you? Cl okay, whatever. You do you. Ooh, more lockpicks and a gold. No. Nope. Okay. Medical cabinet. Uh, no, okay. Ooh, potion? Yes. Potion? Yes. Candle can go right there. Just. Not the most elegant solution, was it? I already beat you your jokes. Here's a swatch. I'm gonna grab a deck of cards. And I'm back where I started. Yes, I is. I guess I'll talk to this lady. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Well, fine. I'm gonna do... <laughs> the last thing I remember is hoisting my 15th point. Is this the Ram's head, Lee? Don't you dare! If you violate the virtue of my carpet, I'll do a good thing worse than put a collar around your neck. There you go. Now you can now you can see her. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end don't, to don't call me a good girl. For good. And then, uh, there was a little <laughs> accident in the cargo deck. The prisoner's dead. Is he? A barrel oh, well, seemed to fall on him. Some problems simply sort themselves, don't they? Wow. Uh, the Magister below deck suffered a, suffered a fatal encounter as well. She frowns and peers at you closely, resting the back of one hand on your forehead and taking your pulse with the other. Hmm. Delusions such as these are rare, but not unheard of. I recommend a cup of mulled wine and another night's sleep. Just take it easy. 
Okay, why did you call me? Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Um, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Promise. Nope, not gonna do it. My, aren't we a meek little lad? Screw you. Perhaps I needn't have called you at all. Though it does look darling on you. So let's just leave it on, shall we? Because to answer your question, what this collar does is this. It makes you unable to cast Source. Well, fine. Screw you. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Ugly sight, isn't it? It is. Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no Voidwalk and followed the Source that did this. You weren't this man's protector. You you were her, his captor. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. Huh. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Well, are you investigating your fellow Magisters? Finn was killed by Source. If a Magister could do that, there wouldn't be a Magister. It looks more like a passenger managed to slip their collar. And the rest, well, you see the evidence in front of you. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? I mean... Alright. Thanks. Forgot how... Oh, there you are. <clears throat> Wife. <laughs> well, well, that's quite presumptuous. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. Allergical? Allergical. Why not? I'm gonna play along and grab your arm. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. Good and ready. She turns to Hello. you, dark-eyed and did you head, Did you want to talk? Smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? True enough. Losa, you presume? You presume right. You wanna take a look around? We can watch each other's back. Thanks, but I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. You take care, though. All right, we'll do. Her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. <laughs> veins run down her can I can I zoom in? Tightens into a cruel sneer. No, I can't. I can't zoom in. She her head's just like meh. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. Oh, really, I don't really care about it. Ooh, yeah, I don't really care about anybody else on the ship enough to to want to talk to them. I think I'm just gonna go over here and hit the store. Yes, the register, ma'am. Register, ma'am. Magister Williams has just about done with the last passenger. You fair and okay so far? Uh, do you actually care? Of course I do. Seems void woken dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? Hmm. You'll see. We're gonna help you. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. You know what? Magister paid. All right, you, you seem like a nice guy, and you're just like trying to actually help us. There's a greasy key journal. Ha! Ah, gotta have me a good whole potato. Gotta have a mash as well. The mash spuds really get my 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 hunger going. Gotta get some garlic. Sheep shears. I could have gone back and sheared the sheep, but I killed it instead. Ooh, restoration skull. That lets me heal people for a couple turns. It's moaning like a sick man. Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. Did he just call them a bunch of virgins? <laughs> he just called them a bunch of mom-loving virgins. Oh my god. Not that it's wrong to love your mom, but I don't think that's what he means. 
Standing at the Dang it, the they moon, spotted me. Spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good God, the woman's mad. The woman is mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Uh, what did you mean? It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her... She sounds like she's been smoking for years. It just hits the ground. I'm just about she's to... She's, like, at her feet. So do her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Let's get it. She has a higher wit than me. Ouch. She really, like, she straight up tried to kill me. That lightning bolt aimed for me. Chest with confiscated goods. There's a bow. There's a two-hander. That, that's a spear. I don't, I don't know. But don't think I have the time to just sit around and be a, a doof. Ooh. I'll put the hat on when we get, uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, and, uh, and he's dead. Oh, dear. Um. Okay, so that one's dead. Two. Come on. Oh, thank goodness I took Lone Wolf, otherwise I would not have been able to do that. Through the fire and the flames. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go save people. What, what does that mean? That I will remember my name? Nearby allies, characters receive an increase to damage. Okay. Can I hit that one? No, I can't. So let me walk two forward. Take care of this creep. And start to damage this one. Hold on. I am going to change the option. Just blinded radiance. It's almost dead. Jeez, just freaking murdered that guy. Did you just hit Losa? Oh my god, you didn't. Okay. We make a pretty good team. Yeah, we do. I'm going to look you up when we hit the safe. As they run through, I'm gonna heal them. Let's head above decks for some air. Good idea, Ifan. I hear something. I don't give a crap. Get to the boat. Ah! We need to wait. I saved you, and now you're leaving me. There's no time. Bye. Okay, well, there I go. Game over, guys, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, look like button down below. Share it with everyone you know and love. Share it with people you don't love if you didn't like it, and I will see you in the next video. What? Never mind, I guess we're being saved. I have plans for you, child. I see. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity, High Judge Orivan. Those Voidwoken made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? It seems someone, something, wanted me alive.